question belongs to paper uh, 1 2 may june 2014 and the question number is 15. it says that a small mass is placed at point p on the inside surface of a smooth hemisphere let's take care of this word smooth which means that there is no friction at all it is then released from rest that means the initial velocity is equal to zero when it reaches the lowest point t which is here its speed is a 4 meter per second. The diagram, not to scale, shows the speed of the mass at other points Q, R, S. As it slides down, air resistance is negligible. So here we have two conditions. One is the smoothness of the hemisphere and the other is that uh, uh, air resistance is negligible. That means there are no resistance forces at all of any kind. The mass loses potential energy E in falling from P to T. So we have got a delta of a potential energy is equal to E. So we have to determine at which point has the mass lost potential energy E by 4. So we have to determine among these points at which point it has lost 1 by 4 of the uh, uh, total uh, PE uh, lost during the whole flight, whole uh, descent. So let us uh, first uh, uh, take notice that when there is no resistance at all, the change of potential energy is equal to the change of kinetic energy. So that's equal to, let us say it is E. So now, <coughs> as is shown from here, shown from here, the total change of uh, this Ke will be equal to 1 by 2 m into 4 square, which is the velocity here half m into a velocity here square minus it is zero which is the k in the beginning so that's equal to uh, 4 for the 16 16 by 2 is 8 so it's equal to 8 m so the total loss of uh, uh, loss of p is equal to 8 m or i can also say that uh, the total gain and the total change of ke from here to here is equal to 8 m now we have we have certain point here where the loss of pe the loss of pe so let us say this is delta pe uh, nu that's equal to that's equal to uh, e by 4 so this means that delta ke nu is equal to e by 4 and this will be equal to this will be equal to 8m by 4 equal to 2m so it becomes equal to 2m and it is also equal to it's also equal to 1 by 2 m v nu square minus 0 where 0 is the uh, key at the initial point and uh, so when i equate these things so it will give us 1 by 2 m v nu square should be equal to twice m so m and m gone which gives us v nu square is equal to 2 into 2 equal to 4 and it gives us v nu is equal to 2 meter per second so this thing happens at that point where the velocity is equal to 2 meter per second square so going through these things it is point r where this happens so it is point r where this happens so the choice number is b so one thing uh, to note it to note is that when the velocity is half of the maximum when the velocity here is half of the maximum it has lost only 1 by 4 energy so it loses 1 by 4 energy here and loses remaining 3 by 4 energy here 3 by 4 energy from here to here so that's how loss of uh, uh, pe and gain of kinetic energy takes place and this condition can be useful in many other cases as well. For example, in inclined planes also, this case can be used.